Remember reading groups when you were in grade school? Well, this is no ordinary group. Jessica, Michelle, and Bugsy? I found a box, said the fox. I heard, said the bird. Bugsy is a two-year-old Rottweiler, right. but he's also an officially declared good citizen, as certified by the American hey. Kennel Club. Bugsy and his owner, Doug McIntosh, volunteer their Monday mornings to read with students at PS84 in Astoria, Queens. They participate in a program called Paws and Books, sponsored by the ASPCA at schools in the New York City area. The goal is to make children who are shy readers feel comfortable reading aloud and enjoy reading, whether at school or at home. When children are allowed to sit in a comfortable environment where they feel comfortable, um, they, it builds their confidence and they're allowed to make mistakes, but at the same time grow as readers. It's nice to read mm -hmm. and you learn much better, you're smart. Spring is fox and... For Bugsy to be part of the program, he had to be trained. The dog and the handler are partnered together. It's a team work. They are certified by the Delta Society with a training program and a, quite a rigorous evaluation program. As you can see, the dog has to be what we call bomb-proof, perfectly behaved, and able to respond to unusual circumstances. Within a year, Bugsy became a Delta Society therapy dog. But Doug can't forget all the hardships Bugsy went through as a puppy. I got him from a breeder, and unfortunately the breeder wasn't that great, and he, um, Bugsy had a lot of problems. He had a lot of his elbow dysplasia and hip dysplasia. So we had that operated on, and he had a, he was underweight, he was malnourished because the guy left him with a big abscess in his mouth. He could even swallow, and the vet fixed that. Despite some joint pain, Bugsy enjoys spending time with the children, reading, drawing, playing, and just being a friend. It's helped the children on many different levels. On an educational level, it's helped them love reading. The children love coming here, and it's also encouraged them to read at home, and it's also helped them even develop more compassion for animals as well. At first, they didn't know Bugsy, and they were a little shy, but now, like, Bugsy's their reading partner. To students like Jessica and Michelle, Bugsy has become more than a reading partner. I just like being with him and reading to him. He's my first friend. So for not only being a good listener, but also for being a child's best friend, we give Bugsy a treat for being our New Yorker of the Week. In Astoria, Roger Clark, New York One.